In this question, we need to determine the relative velocity and acceleration of car B with respect to car A. We will assume up is positive and to the right is positive. Let's write the velocity of car A in Cartesian vector form. Since it's going in a straight line to the right, it's going to be 30i. Now we can write the acceleration in Cartesian form as well. That's going to be 2i. For car B, we also need to write the velocity and acceleration. Let's focus on velocity first. We have two components, which are 15 cos 60 degrees and 15 sin 60 degrees. Let's simplify these. For acceleration, it's a bit more complicated. The car is traveling along a curve, which means we will have tangential acceleration and normal acceleration. So let's find those first. The tangential acceleration is 0.8 meters per second squared, which is given to us in the question. The normal acceleration can be found using this equation. The radius of curvature is 250 meters and the velocity is 50 meters per second. So let's plug those in and solve. Now we can express each of the accelerations in Cartesian form. So for each acceleration, we will write the i component and the j component. For the tangential acceleration, since it's slowing down, the arrow is pointing backwards, which means both components are negative. For the normal acceleration, it's pointing to the center of the curve, so we have one component that is positive and another that is negative. Let's simplify these. The total acceleration of car B is the addition of all of these components. Let's add the components together. Now that we have the velocity and acceleration, we can use our relative equations. For velocity, we have this. Plug in what we know and solve. Now we can find the magnitude of velocity. The angle can be found using tan inverse. For acceleration, we will do the same using the relative acceleration equation. Plug in what we know and solve. Now let's find the magnitude. The angle can be found using tan inverse. Those are our answers. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped. Best of luck with your studies.